And for love, we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Devil reversed. We have Knight of Cups upright. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Swords reversed, and then Ten of Cups upright, and then we have the Four of Cups reversed. All right, so we do have somebody coming in in March, and this is going to be a water sign. So it's going to be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay, we well, can't see them all, but that's okay. I will show this one to you. There we go. So just looking at this here, we do have, like I said, we have somebody in the upright coming in. They're going to come in quickly. They're coming in to clear space for you. They're coming in to rectify a situation. And almost to heal you. They're here to heal you. Yes, they're here for healing. Because you're trying to let go of someone or something or some situation, um, some obsession, something that is almost unhealthy for you. You're, you, you know it's unhealthy for you and you're ready to move on from it. But it's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult. It's like if you love gin and tonics and you have one every night and then all of a sudden you stop doing that. Like you know that's the healthy thing to do and that's what you want to do. But it's hard to act out. All right. So the seven of pentacles is 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 acknowledging acknowledging that um it's hard it's hard even though you're you're going to get through it and you are going to do it taking the steps to do it is hard so this knight of cups is help is here to help you heal through that and the ten of cups is lovely they're linking to you they're coming in to do that now with the knight of cups oftentimes i i don't see them as uh as having a, a huge longevity they often come in and they go out fast but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be needed. And you're going to love being with them. The hard thing about this relationship that's coming in is you will want to hold on to it. Okay? That's what the Four of Cups here is saying. You know, it's saying that you want to hold on to it. But the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords uh, gives me hope for you, actually. Because you, it's... This person is ushering in a new sense of self for you, where you, you realize you can let go of the devil. You can let go of this obsession. And it's like they give you the nudge towards your happiness. Eight of Pentacles reversed is, is that, too. It's like you understand um, you, have, you have like this, this innate knowledge that you haven't tapped into, and now you're finally getting to tap into it. Like, this is so good. But like I said, you it's going to be hard not to want to hold on to this Knight of Cups, not to want to hold on to this relationship. And because when they are with you, they are with you. They are connected to you. But they also know that this is just a moment. And that's why they are connecting to you. And that's why they are there. And they love you wholeheartedly for that moment and passionately and strongly and and you feel at ease with them but they're only here for a very short time so enjoy it I'm not saying they're going to die they just have to move on so i kind of get the sense that maybe they're coming they're coming for work into your area and they're only here for like a week maybe a month uh and so you have this passionate connection and then they have to go home they have to go away you know, like, it's just like this brief encounter that just reminds you of love, reminds you of what it feels like to be connected. And so take that relationship, take that moment with them, and be grateful for it. All right, Sag, let's pull some universal love cards just to bring it, bring it together. And we have meditation. Holy moly, I keep pulling the same card. And I just want to show you guys. That it's like I'm really shuffling the whole time. You can hear it. But okay, it's this one. Spiritual growth. Yes. Hallelujah. All right. So this person is ushering in spiritual growth. Meditation of self. Meditation connection with somebody else is bringing you to a new level so when they leave you should feel you know powerful you should feel connected to yourself this is wonderful like it's it, you know what honestly Sagittarius like this relationship even though it's really quick it just feels like almost like a storybook it, it seems like a fairy tale 
you know, where you connect with someone, you love them, you're connected, it feels uh, euphoric, and then you have to walk away. It's like you guys pass, it's like you meet on a bridge and then you have to walk the, you know, opposite ways off the bridge. But as you do that, though you are melancholy, you also know that it's the right thing to do and you feel happy for even having the relationship. And it will give you something to contemplate and love for a very long time. It opened up a part of your heart that needed to be opened for other relationships. Oh, this is good. All right, Sagittarius, it's going to be a saucy month. Let me tell you that. But it's going to be a healing month, too. All right, so let's move on to the couples. So, unfortunately, this reading speaks of betrayal, speaks of someone stepping out on the other, either emotionally, physically, spiritually. Uh, it feels like for a lot of you, it's going to actually be uh, your partner is checking out, uh, it, um, not physically, but emotionally. Like, and, and because of that, they're not speaking to you. Okay, so it's kind of like they're just not present in the relationship. And you, you guys are going to fight about it. Yep, Five of Swords is fighting about it. Okay. But it's also, it's meant to shine light on what the true situation is. Five of Cups, you're also going to be, you know, mourning a situation. And Seven of Swords, yeah. Seven of Swords is betrayal. Three of Swords is betrayal. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is not feeling happy about it. Like the whole month is going to be dealing with this situation that somebody has stepped out. Like I said, it could be in different ways. It's not just like cheating. It can also just be that they, they no longer are emotionally uh, present, that they are no longer communicating to you. They're gaslighting you. Mm, Sagittarius. Yeah, they are really doing it on like the intellect level. And the Seven of Swords is also, um, you know, paranoia. Seven of Swords reverses paranoia. And feeling like, gosh darn, what, you know, what can I do? It's, there, you know, it's like creating this idea that is vastly bigger than it really is. What can you do? Ten of Pentacles reverse is really, it's just not a satisfying place. And same with the Sun reverse. Gosh, I just... Every single card out here is is tough. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Sagittarius. Like the best advice I can give right now, and it's just like it's a, like actually kind of it's. Mm, I hate to say it, it's like heartbreaking to look at this for you, is to take a step back, because emotions are going to be running so high, so very high, and there's going to be yelling and there's going to be tears and crying. It's a step back. Because it, it's, there is going to be a situation in a relationship that you, it's going to change. It's going to drastically change. Now, the grain of hope here is the sun, actually, even though it's in reverse. Even though it's in reverse, it still shines. It's just harder to see. And that's what this situation kind of is. It's like overwhelmingly anxious and stressful for you. But to remember that, think, God, that you actually are dealing with it now instead of in, you know, a year's time, two years time. Knowing the truth now is much easier to deal with than having so many more days under the bridge. All right, I'm going to pull the universal love. Let's see here. Inner child. Hmm. Okay, and universal heart. Okay. So with these two cards here, it's really... Hmm, don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Even though this situation is going to most likely kind of make you feel like you're drudging through <laughs> the mud. Um, there's, this, there's this aspect of you with the inner child especially uh, that has been denied, that has been ignored for too long. And so now this inner child is screaming, like, pay attention to me, pay attention to what I need. And that's, you know, something from the past that you have buried within yourself. Like, shut up. We don't have time for that. <laughs> and so to be gentle with it, because it's going to come up like this is 
this month is trigger happy for you. You're going to be hitting a lot of triggers. Your partner is going to be hitting triggers, trying to like make you feel a certain way, making you feel um, uncertain, unsure, not confident. And so they're going to trigger, trigger, trigger that. And it's going to make you realize that there are, there are some aspects from your past that you haven't um, come to terms with yet. And I think Sagittarius, that when that happens, you're going to kind of feel forlorn. Like, I thought I was over that. I thought I was done. Why is it coming up now again? And it's to remind you to have, have faith in yourself, have faith in the universe, and that love is universal. To be kind to you, to be kind to this process, that you are going to mess up. You're going to say some things that you regret. And that's okay. That's okay. Be gentle with yourself. Have some patience. Slow down, Sagittarius. I hope you get to see this reading before like the, the crap hits the fan. Uh, so, so that you remember to slow down. Slow your roll. Slow down your words in the fight in the, the fire and move just a little bit slower than you, you want so that you don't lash out and go, dang it, I wish I wouldn't have said that. And if you do, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and, you know, do what is true and what is honest and what is good for you and your partner too. It is hard to say, I am sorry. It is hard to say, I was wrong. But guess what? If you were wrong, admit it. If you are sorry, admit it. This is not the time for pride. This is the time for unconditional love and patience with you and with yours around you. Be gentle, Sagittarius. Come at this. I'm not saying roll over. And I'm not saying don't, you know, not to face the situation. And I'm also not saying that you, you know, you can't be angry. Yeah, you can be mad as hell. But wh how you dish it out, how you deal with that anger is what's important. Are you going to spew the anger and the hate back? Or are you going to take a moment and say, mm -mm, that's not going to do any good. Yeah, I'm mad as hell. But me calling them every name in the book is not going to solve the situation. And everyone says, well, it might make me feel better. Probably not. No, it's not. Because you're spewing a low level. You, you, the tone, the, the vibration that you're giving out will make you feel empty if you go to that level. So with Universal Heart, it's really asking you to stay above. Stay above, slow down, and love. Do it from love. Feed your soul. 